Chemical Classification of Minerals Objectives After attending this module, the user would be able to know and explain the chemical classification of minerals and the types of minerals belonging to various classes and groups. The mineral kingdom is a very vast area in the subject of earth sciences. Mineralogy is a perfect physical science. About 2000 dominant minerals are popular and existing over the world, which are known for their unique properties. The study of the chemical classification of minerals is an essential topic in the subject of mineralogy. Introduction Lithosphere is the solid layer of the planet Earth. It is the rocky segment holding all natural resources including the energy resources, water resources, mineral resources and the biotic resources. Everything is existing on Earth for human survival. Earth's economic resources include thousands of minerals belonging to the mineral kingdom. Every segment of the human society uses the mineral resources in one form or the other every day, directly or indirectly. There are many minerals which have commercial and industrial importance. While studying the minerals, the classification of minerals becomes a basic priority as there are numerous groups occurring in different parts of the world. There is a need to classify the minerals and study their properties. This module highlights the widely used chemical classification of minerals. Crustal Abundance of Elements The Earth's crust is dominated by eight abundant chemical elements. They are Oxygen 47% Silicon 27% Aluminium 8% Iron 5% Calcium 3.6% Sodium 2.8% Potassium 2.6% Magnesium 2% and all other elements about 1%. Silicon and Oxygen are the two most abundant elements present in the Earth's crust. The other elements following these two are Aluminium, Iron, Calcium, Sodium, Potassium, Magnesium, Hydrogen, Phosphorus, Barium, and strontium. It is to be noted that the metals like copper, lead, zinc, nickel and tin which play an important role in all our modern technology are present only in very small proportions. The most abundant minerals in the earth's crust are the silicates. Non-silicates constitute less than 10% of the earth's crust. The most common non-silicates are the carbonates, the oxides and the sulphides. There are also naturally occurring phosphates and salts. The world of minerals. Minerals are naturally formed elements or compounds having a definite chemical composition and usually a characteristic crystal form. Minerals are valuable resources for life support activities of the human population. Minerals are naturally occurring inorganic substances. Every mineral can be identified by several of its physical properties and crystal chemistry. There are nearly 3,700 minerals occurring on the earth, out of which about two dozen minerals are common making up to 90% of the mineral constituents in the Earth's crust. Minerals may be composed of a single element, like gold, AU, or a combination of elements. Minerals which are composed of more than one element are bound together by chemical bonding. All minerals formed by more than one element are bound together by positive and negative ions. Minerals are formed from various processes and source materials. 
their growth are controlled by various physico chemical conditions including the mass balance role of fluids temperature pressure depth or other factors of the environment classification of minerals of all the characters of minerals the chemical constitution is the most fundamental and it naturally takes an important position in any rational system of classification initially grouping of minerals have been attempted according to their association in the field then the diversity of elements was considered the crystallographers and mineralogists compared the salts that have similar crystalline structure and classified the minerals an economic classification was also brought forward based on their utility point of view later a comprehensive classification was proposed by arranging the minerals by the important fundamental element present in them these elements were considered in the order of mendeleev's periodic table by this method the ores of any one metal are kept together while at the same time little violence is done to isomorphous groups the silicates are complex in composition and form a very important a rock forming group they are best kept as a division by themselves inside this great division if the whole range of the silicates is to be considered the arrangement adopted in dana's system of mineralogy was found to be convenient the structure of classification in the field of mineralogy the organizational structure created by james dwight dana aptly named as dana's system of mineralogy is the widely accepted classification system for the study of minerals dana was the first person to classify minerals into an arrangement by composition and structure the first five editions of a system of mineralogy were published in 1837 1844 1850 1854 and 1868 and were authored or revised by James Dwight Dana minerals are first separated into classes by anion the main classes are elements oxides halides sulfides carbonates phosphates and silicates there are many subclasses still based on composition smaller groups that are chemically similar are often grouped together chemical classification of minerals the chemical classification of minerals broadly divides them into the following 10 classes 1 native elements native metals and alloys carbides silicides nitrides and phosphides 2 sulfides sulfo salts sulfur senates and sulfantimonates 3 halogenides oxyhalides and hydroxyhalides 4 oxides and hydroxides vanadates arsenites antimonides bismuthites sulfites iodates 5 carbonates and nitrates 6 borates 7 sulfates selenates chromates molybdates wolframates and niobates 8 phosphates arsenates vanadates and polyvanadates 9 silicates 10 organic compounds class native elements native metals and alloys carbides silicides nitrides phosphides the native elements as the name implies are minerals containing individual or combined chemical elements native element minerals occur in nature in uncombined form with a distinct mineral structure 
the elemental class includes four subclasses as metals and intermetallic elements naturally occurring alloys semi metals and non metals the elements class contains minerals that are composed of more than one element these elements by the chemical definition are composed of all the same atoms whereas substances composed of two or more elements are compounds the metals and their alloys and the non metals belong to this group metal alloys are minerals that are composed of combinations of different metals in one mineral subclass native metals and alloys the native metals include the following aluminum al cadmium cd chromium cr copper cu gold au indium in iridium ir os ru iron fe lead pb mercury hg nickel ni palladium pd platinum pt rhodium rh pt silver ag tellurium te tin sn titanium ti zinc zn metallic alloys metal alloys are the combinations of metals under this group the following combination of elements lead to the formation of various minerals the combination of iron plus nickel is reflected in the minerals like camasite alpha taenite beta and tetra taenite the combination of copper plus zinc is reflected in the minerals like brass cu3 zn2 and danbate cu zn2 the combination of copper plus zinc plus aluminum is reflected in the minerals like cupolite cu zn al the combination of copper plus mercury is reflected in the minerals like bellendorphite cu7 hg6 the combination of copper plus gold is reflected in the minerals like auricupride cu3 au the combination of gold plus copper is reflected in the minerals like tetra auricupride au cu the combination of gold plus silver plus lead is reflected in the minerals like hunchunite au ag2 pb the combination of iridium plus iron is reflected in the minerals like chengedite ir3 fe the combination of silver plus mercury is reflected in the minerals like eugenite ag9 hg2 native nonmetals and semi metals the native nonmetals and semi metals include the following 1 antimony sb 2 arsenic as 3 bismuth bi 4 diamond c 5 graphite c 6 selenium se 7 silicon si 8 sulfur s 9 tellurium te minerals with metallic and non metallic elements include mostly iron plus nickel in combination with non metals like phosphorus p carbon c silica si and nickel n class sulfides sulfo salts sulfur sulfates self antimonites the sulfide class includes four categories of minerals as sulfides sulfo salts sulfur sulfates and self antimonites a group of minerals that are compounds of one or more metallic elements combined with the non metallic element sulfur the sulfides also occur as economically important class of minerals most major ores of important metals such as copper lead and silver are all occurring as sulfide minerals in nature 
This family includes minerals of sulfides and sulfur salts, selenides, telluride, antimonide, and arsenides. The standard sulfides. Sulfur ions, S2 minus, bind with a number of positive ions to form the sulfide minerals. Many of them are important ores for the ions to which they bind. Antimony sulfide occurring as stibnite, arsenic sulfide occurring as orpiment and real gar, bismuth sulfide occurring as bismuthinite, cadmium sulfide occurring as green ochite, cobalt arsenic sulfide occurring as cobaltite, copper antimony sulfide occurring as famatinite, copper iron sulfide occurring as bornite, chalcopyrite, and cubanite, copper iron tin sulfide occurring as stanite, copper sulfide occurring as chalcosite, covellite, and digenite, iron arsenic sulfide occurring as arsenopyrite, iron nickel sulfide occurring as pentlandite, iron sulfide occurring as marcasite, pyrite, and pyrotite, lead sulfide occurring as galena, manganese sulfide occurring as alabandite, mercury sulfide occurring as cinnabar, mercury sulfide occurring as metacinnabar, molybdenum sulfide occurring as molybdenite, nickel sulfide occurring as millerite and polydimite, silver germanium sulfide occurring as argyrodite, silver iron sulfide occurring as argentopyrite, silver iron sulfide occurring as sternbergite, silver selenium sulfide occurring as aguilarite, silver sulfide occurring as argentite, tungsten sulfide occurring as tungstenite, vanadium sulfide occurring as petronite, zinc iron sulfide occurring as sphalerite. Sulfur salts the sulfur salts are typical minerals occurring with the combinations of copper, iron, lead, silver, arsenic, bismuth, antimony, and tin. The major minerals and their composition are as follows. Chalcostibite containing copper antimony sulfide. Enargite containing copper arsenic sulfide. Emplectite containing copper bismuth sulfide. Bethyrite containing iron antimony sulfide. Cylindrite containing iron lead tin antimony sulfide. Boulangerite containing lead antimony sulfide. Gratinite containing lead arsenic sulfide. Bornonite containing lead copper antimony sulfide. Ikenite containing lead copper bismuth sulfide, frankite containing lead tin iron antimony sulfide, meargyrite containing silver antimony sulfide, proustite containing silver arsenic sulfide, martildite containing silver bismuth sulfide, polybasite containing silver copper antimony sulfide and andorite containing silver lead antimony sulfide class halogenides oxyhalides and hydroxyhalides this class includes halogenides oxyhalides and hydroxyhalides the halides are a group of minerals whose principal anions are halogens most of the halides are very soft and easily dissolved in water halite and fluorite are the well-known examples of this group the halogens that are found commonly in nature include chlorine, bromine, iodine, and fluorine. This group of minerals includes anhydrous chlorides, bromides, iodides, and fluorides. B. Oxychlorides and oxyfluorides. C. Hydrous chlorides and hydrous fluorides. The common minerals of anhydrous halides include calomel, horn quicksilver, which mercurous chloride. Halite group. Halite is commonly known as rock salt. 
It is the mineral form of sodium chloride, NaCl. The halite group includes the following minerals. Halite, NaCl, the common rock salt. It is the salt which is used in our daily diet. Sylvite, KCl, potassium chloride. Sal ammoniac, NH4Cl, ammonium chloride. Williomite, NaF, sodium fluoride. Fluorite group. Fluorite, which is also called fluor spar, is a halide mineral. It is composed of calcium fluoride, CaF2. This group includes the following minerals. Fluorite, fluor spar, calcium fluoride. Cryolite, fluoride of sodium and aluminium. Oxychlorides and oxyfluorides. Oxychloride is a compound having oxygen and chlorine atoms bonded to another element. This group includes the mineral atacamite. It is a hydrated copper oxychloride. In addition, there are hydrous chlorides and hydrous fluorides. The major minerals of these groups include carnalite, which is a hydrated potassium magnesium chloride, and prosopite, which is a hydrated calcium aluminium fluoride. Class Oxides and hydroxides. The class on oxides and hydroxides include a wide variety of minerals belonging to vanadates, arsenites, antimonites, bismuthites, sulfites, and iodates. Oxygen is the most abundant element in the Earth's crust. It bonds readily with a number of metallic ions to form the oxides. These oxides form important ores for the metal resources. Most of the industrial minerals belong to this group. Important minerals of the oxide group are the following. Oxides of silicon, oxides of semi-metals, oxides of metals and intermediate oxides. Oxides of silicon. Quartz is one of the major mineral groups present in almost all rocks of the earth due to its abundance. The major minerals are quartz group of minerals containing SiO2 as their composition, tridimite which is also a pure silica, opal which is a gem mineral containing hydrous silicate and amethyst which is a purple quartz. Oxides of semi-metals. Oxides of semi-metals are typical mineral groups. They include minerals like arsenolite containing arsenic trioxide, valentinite containing antimony trioxide, tungstite containing tungsten trioxide. Oxides of metals. The oxide mineral class includes those minerals in which the oxide anion O2- is bonded to one or more metal ions. Cuprite is an oxide mineral composed of copper oxide Cu2O and is a minor ore of copper. This is a major mineral belonging to this group. There are two other groups of minerals belonging to the oxides of metals. They are periclase group and hematite group. The minerals of these groups are as follows. Periclase group with periclase containing magnesia, manganocyte containing manganese protoxide and zincite containing zinc oxide. Hematite group with corundum containing Al2O3, hematite containing Fe2O3 and ilmenite containing FeMgOTiO2. Corundum is one of the dominant aluminum oxide belonging to this group. Corundum is the second hardest natural mineral known to science. Intermediate oxides. The intermediate oxides comprise of three major mineral groups. They are spinel group, rutile group and hydrous oxides. The spinel group is comprised of aluminium spinel called as spinel, iron spinel which forms a group including magnetite, jacobsite and franklinite, chromium spinel forming chromite and finally magnesium aluminate. The rutile group is comprised of four notable minerals. They are cassiterite SNO2, rutile TiO2, octahedrite, titanium dioxide and pyrolusite, which is a manganese dioxide. 
the hydrous oxides group comprised of diaspore goethite manganite limonite bauxite brucite gibbsite and silomelane antimonides the minerals of this subclass include gold antimonite nickel antimonite and silver antimonite arostibite is a gold antimonide arsenides the minerals of this subclass include copper arsenide nickel arsenide called as nickeline cobalt arsenide cobalt nickel arsenide called as smaltite platinum arsenide and cobalt iron arsenide called as safflorite iron arsenide called as lollingite class carbonates and nitrates carbonates and nitrates are very separate classes of minerals the carbonate ion can bond with a variety of other ions to produce the carbonate minerals the bonding with calcium to form the mineral calcite produces one of the most abundant of the non silicate minerals all carbonates have the property of dissolving easily in acidic water carbonates are further classified into two major classes as anhydrous carbonates and basic hydrous carbonates the anhydrous carbonates includes two groups as calcite group and aragonite group of minerals calcite group the calcite group includes a variety of minerals with varying chemical composition the notable minerals are calcite which consists of calcium carbonate dolomite which consists of calcium magnesium carbonate ankerite which consists of calcium magnesium iron carbonate magnesite which consists of magnesium carbonate siderite which consists of iron carbonate rhodochrosite which consists of manganese carbonate smithsonite which consists of zinc carbonate and spero cobaltite which consists of cobalt carbonate aragonite group the aragonite group includes the following minerals aragonite which consists of calcium carbonate bromelite which consists of calcium barium carbonate strontianite which consists of strontium carbonate and cerussite which consists of lead carbonate basic and hydrous carbonate the basic and hydrous carbonates are yet another group of minerals the minerals of this group are malachite which consists of basic cupric hydrous carbonate and azurite which consists of basic cupric hydrous carbonate nitrates nitrates are soluble minerals these minerals are few in number and with the exception of soda nitre are of rare occurrence nitrates are similar to carbonates nitre specifically kno3 is also known as salt peter nitrate minerals include sodium citrate calcium nitrate barium nitrate nitre and nitratine the normal anhydrous and hydrated nitrates occurring as minerals are soda nitre nano3 nitre kno3 ammonia nitre nh4no3 nitro barite bano32 nitrocalcite cano32 4h2o and nitromagnesite mgno32 6h2o the natural nitrates are for the most part readily soluble in water nitrate is one of the few nitrate minerals that is available on the mineral markets in fact some solid nitrate crystals will even become liquid by removing water from the moisture in the air a process called deliquescence class borates borates are separate classes of minerals borate is a compound of the borate ion with metallic elements the borate materials are more complex in their structures than typical carbonates it is because of the scarcity and limited distribution of boron in the earth's crust there are more than 100 different borate minerals occurring in nature the most common borate minerals are the following carnite 
एन ए टू बी फोर ओ सेवन फोर एच टू ओ कर्नाइट इज अ सोडियम बोरेट हाइड्राइट बोरैक्स एन ए टू बी फोर ओ सेवन टेन एच टू ओ बोरैक्स इज अ सोडियम बोरेट हाइड्रेट यूलेक्साइट एन ए सी ए बी फाइव ओ नाइन एट एच टू ओ यूलेक्साइट इज अ सोडियम कैल्शियम बोरेट हाइड्रेट कोलमनाइट सी ए टू बी फाइव ओ लेवन फाइव एच टू ओ कोलमनाइट इज अ कैल्शियम बोरेट हाइड्रेट बोरासाइट एम जी थ्री बी सेवन ओ थर्टीन सी एल बोरासाइट इज अ मैग्नीशियम बोरेट क्लोराइड ससेक्साइट एच आर बी ओ थ्री ससेक्साइट इज द मैग्नीशियम बोरेट हाइड्रोक्साइड हाइड्रोबोरासाइट हाइड्रोबोरासाइट इज द हाइड्रेटेड कैल्शियम मैग्नीशियम बोरेट हाइड्रोक्साइड क्लास सल्फेट्स सेलेनेट्स क्रोमेट्स मॉलिबडेट्स वुल्फ्रामेट्स एंड नियोबेट्स दिस क्लास इंक्लूड्स मेनी मिनरल्स बिलोंगिंग टू सल्फेट्स सेलेनेट्स क्रोमेट्स मॉलिबडेट्स वुल्फ्रामेट्स एंड नियोबेट्स द सल्फेट्स आर एन इम्पॉर्टेंट मिनरल क्लास एंड इंक्लूड सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड अट्रैक्टिव स्पेसिमेंट्स ऑल दो मेनी मिनरल्स बिलोंगिंग टू दिस क्लास ओनली बेराइट जिप्साइम सेलेस्टाइट एंड एनहाइड्राइट कैन बी कंसिडर्ड कॉमन सेलेनाइट्स द मिनरल ऑफ द सेलेनाइट सब क्लास इंक्लूड कॉपर सेलेनाइड लेड सेलेनाइड सिल्वर कॉपर सेलेनाइड एंड मर्क्यूरी सेलेनाइड टेल्यूराइड्स द मिनरल्स ऑफ द टेल्यूराइड सब क्लास इंक्लूड लेड टेल्यूराइड गोल्ड टेल्यूराइड सिल्वर टेल्यूराइड कॉपर गोल्ड टेल्यूराइड निकल टेल्यूराइड सिल्वर गोल्ड टेल्यूराइड कॉपर टेल्यूराइड गोल्ड लेड एंटीमनी आयरन टेल्यूराइड एंड मर्क्यूरी टेल्यूराइड नोटेबल टेल्यूराइड मिनरल्स आर सिल्वरनाइट सिल्वर गोल्ड टेल्यूराइड मेलानाइट निकल टेल्यूराइड कैलावेराइट गोल्ड टेल्यूराइड एम्प्रेसाइट सिल्वर टेल्यूराइड पेटजाइट सिल्वर गोल्ड टेल्यूराइड क्लास फॉस्फेट्स आर्सेनेट्स वैनाडेट्स एंड पॉलीवेनाडेट्स दिस क्लास इंक्लूड्स मिनरल्स बिलोंगिंग टू फॉस्फेट्स आर्सेनेट्स वैनाडेट्स एंड पॉलीवेनाडेट्स फॉस्फोरस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फॉस्फेट आयॉन्स पी ओ फोर टू द पावर ऑफ थ्री माइनस बाइंड विद पॉजिटिव आयॉन्स to form the phosphate minerals the important minerals of phosphates are xenotime monazite apatite vanadinite pyromorphite mimetite wagnerite triplite uraninite and autunite class silicates The class on silicate includes a vast number of minerals belonging to the silicate family. The silicates are the largest, the most interesting and the most complicated classes of minerals. Approximately 30% of all minerals present on the earth are silicates. Some geologists estimate that about 90% of the earth's crust is made up of mainly silicates. Oxygen and silicon are the two most abundant elements in the earth's crust because of this the abundance of silicates is seen the basic chemical unit of silicates is the sio4 tetrahedron the silicate tetrahedrons have more complicated structures the silicate tetrahedrons combine each other and make the typical silicate class they are the rock forming silicates classification of silicates The silicates are divided into the following six subclasses not by their chemistries but based on their structures niso silicates single tetrahedrons soro silicates double tetrahedrons ino silicates single and double chains cyclo silicates rings phyllo silicates sheets tecto silicates frameworks neo silicates The neosilicates are called as single tetrahedron silicates. These are also called as orthosilicates. They have an independent SiO tetrahedral structure. These form separate groups of minerals. 
The major groups of minerals are olivine group, garnet group, zircon group, aluminosilicate group, humite group, titanite and chloritoid group of minerals. The olivine group includes major minerals like phosphorite and phyllite. The garnet group of minerals include pyrope, alamandine, spessartine, grossular, andradite and uvarovite minerals. The zircon group includes zircon and thorite. The aluminosilicate group includes andalusite, kyanite, sillimanite, topaz and storolite minerals. The humite group include chondrodite and humite. Sorosilicates, double tetrahedrons. Sorosilicates are double tetrahedrons silicates. They possess two linked SiO tetrahedra sharing one oxygen. They include epidote group of minerals as major groups. The notable ones are the epidote and Vesuvianite groups. The epidote group includes major minerals like epidote, zoisite and alanite. The Vesuvianite group includes idocrase minerals. Inosilicates, single and double chains. The inosilicates occur as single and double chain structure of silicates. The most important mineral groups of inosilicates are the pyroxenes and the amphiboles. Pyroxenes are the most important rock-forming ferromagnesian silicate minerals. They occur in almost every type of igneous rocks. These single-chain inosilicates include the following mineral groups. The pyroxene group includes minerals like enstatite and ferrocyllite, diopside and augite, jadeite, agyrine, acmite and spodumene. The pyroxenite group includes minerals like volastonite, rhodonite and pectolite. The pyroxenes can be further divided into two more groups based on chemistry and crystallography. The first one is the orthorhombic pyroxenes, orthopyroxenes in short, which includes enstatite, MgSiO3 and ferrocylite, FeSiO3. And the second one is the monoclinic pyroxenes, clinopyroxenes in short, which includes diopside Hedenbergite series. In addition, we have the sodic pyroxenes comprising minerals like jadeite, NaAlSi2O6 and agerine NaFe plus 3, Si2O6, augite and pigeonite. Double chain inosilicates. These silicates show continuous chains of SiO tetrahedra sharing two oxygens. The amphibole group of minerals are double chain silicates, for example, the tremolite ferroactinolite series. The amphibole group of minerals include anthophyllite, coming to night series, tremolite, actinolite, and horn blend. It also includes sodium amphibole minerals. Cyclosilicates, rings. The cyclosilicates show closed rings of linked SiO tetrahedral sharing two oxygens. The most common minerals based on this structure are beryl, cordierite, dioptase, and tourmaline. Phyllosilicates, sheets. The phyllosilicates are called as sheets silicates. These silicates show continuous sheets of SiO tetrahedra sharing three oxygens. Many members of this class have a platy or flaky habit with one very prominent cleavage. Minerals are generally soft, low specific gravity, may even be flexible. Mostly hydroxyl bearing minerals. The phyllosilicates are an important group of minerals that includes the micas, chlorite, serpentine, talc and the clay minerals. The major mineral groups are serpentine group, clay mineral group with kaolinite, illite and montmorillonite, vermiculite and talc, mica group including biotite, muscovite and phlogopite and chloride group with chlorine. The micas. The micas can be divided into the dioctahedral micas and the trioctahedral micas. 
muscovite paragonite and margarite are the white micas and represent the dioctahedral group biotite and clintonite xanthophyllite are the black or brown micas representing the trioctahedral group muscovite and biotite are the most common micas tectosilicates frameworks the tectosilicates show continuous framework of sio tetrahedra sharing all four oxygens all oxygen atoms are shared between two sio4 tetrahedron quartz group with quartz tridimite and cristobalite belong to this class in addition the feldspar and feldspathoid minerals are also based on the tectosilicate framework these silicates include the following groups of silicates feldspar family with alkali feldspars and plagioclase feldspars feldspathoid family with nepheline and sodalite scapolite group zeolite group with natrolite chabazite and hulandite the structure of feldspar is similar to that of the sio2 polymorphs consisting of an infinite network of tetrahedral interconnected via bridging oxygen atoms among these the feldspars are the most common rock forming minerals class organic compounds this class includes those organic compounds that are recognized and classified as minerals organic minerals are essential items which bring life to cells these contain carbon and their electrons spin clockwise just like those of the human body in fact the body needs about 70 different minerals to carry out all the functions a body is required to do the organic minerals include the following salts of organic acids oxalates salts of organic acids melitates citrates cyanates and acetates salts of organic acids hydrocarbons salts of organic acids with miscellaneous formulae conclusion mineralogy is a vast subject more than 3000 minerals have been recognized so far it is necessary to know the details about these minerals their chemical formula physical and chemical properties and the way in which they are used in different industries systematic mineralogy is the subject which divides these minerals into different classes based on their chemical formulas many mineral collectors collect or categorize their collections mainly based the mineral classes only the chemical classification of minerals give an overall structure and composition of the minerals of the world